Vietnam truth connection with you. So today we're going to talk about physical relationships, right? What this time has done to our relationships. We'll deal with ourselves later, but now we want to deal with our interpersonal relationships. And this time has taken a tremendous toll on it. Some things have been magical and wonderful. Just had somebody tell me yesterday that their family divided up because they're used to having somebody, they're used to having a live-in person, you know, and somebody who comes and cleans the house, but the live-in person, you know, does the laundry, cooks for them, does all this other stuff. And so they had no one. And they just divided their family up and one group of the family did you know, meals and, and the other group cleaned the house. And then the other group did the later meals of the day. And that group cleaned a different part of the house, right? Because they had quite a large house. And they said it was really great. It really worked on bringing their family together in really interesting and creative ways. And I thought, how fantastic. I know other people that that has not been the situation with that they got COVID and had three children and had to let all of their help go so they didn't get COVID and were just completely overwhelmed with trying to keep this new large house that they had just moved into and their children all together while they were battling COVID themselves, right? And feeling exhausted out of their minds. And um, so I realized that there's not one way that this has all happened, but this has been, and I know a lawyer who had 10 divorce cases in the docket when this went down and he called all of them and um, you know, seven of them were still on, but three were like, no, we're good. They just needed time together, right? So this has brought people really together or let them see like, no, no way. You know, can't make this relationship work or trying to work and having your children around all the time who know nothing about making an appointment, right? The appointment is now, <laughs> right now. I will, this appointment is now. And I mean, we see all the cute things of children running across Zoom and going, I got a poo or, you know, whatever they do. But that doesn't address the stressors of trying to navigate a household and a job and children and your relationship with your partner. It's been a lot. And not being able to see parts of your family during this time. I haven't seen my grandkids in almost two years. So it's, there's not one thing, but it's taken a big toll on relationships. It has, and I'm not the first to say this. And I'm going to say, acknowledge this has been really hard. I mean, not being able to be with someone you love when they've been in the hospital, whether they've come out or whether they've left this plane, you know, your relationship, all of our relationships have been like strained, either being with somebody too much of the time or not enough of the time, you know, or too much of this and not enough of this. And your alone time with yourself has got, gone from probably being fairly small to being almost non-existent for those with children and for those without a job and living on your own, it's gotten to be so big that you just, you know, want to see someone, anyone be with somebody, you know. Uh, so this has been a very challenging time to be in a relationship with a partner. It's been a very challenging time not to have that person there, you know, for the touch, for the connection, and then all the other strains that have been present with the extraneous loss of job or children or, you know, parents, family, all the, all of their things happening simultaneously, um, has put tremendous strains on relationships. So is there a quick fix? No, but there are some things that you can start implementing that can help make things a little bit more fun and a little bit more light. Okay, number one, uh, if you want to change your diet and have better food things, get your children to number one, help you make a shopping list. Okay, number two, get them involved in cooking and baking and get them involved in the kitchen. I know having them use knives, maybe not the best idea, but 
yet it's really important to get them involved in that which you want them to eat. You want them to eat more salads, you know, do sprouts with them. It's so easy and it's so cool for kids to see these things coming out of like, oh my God, that is so cool, right? Alive, plant something in your garden. Even if you don't have a garden, you can now have things inside in your apartment, it, you know, on your balcony, inside, you know, all these grow lamps and things. They will eat better if they are growing it themselves. Okay, that's one thing. Another thing is just do stress releasers. Go, I'm feeling really stressed. Are you feeling really stressed? Okay, let's do this. So one really fun thing that you can do with your kids, and if you're having a fight with your partner, you can do this. It will stop the fight absolutely cold because it's so weird. All right but you're gonna inhale in four parts. It's called dragon breath, and it's for releasing stress and tension and rebalancing your thyroid and parathyroid. So there's so many good uses for this, but with kids, you can just make it a place like, I'm feeling really angry or I'm feeling really upset. Okay, you know, can we do dragon breath together? Let's do dragon breath. Okay, so this is dragon breath, very simple. Four part breath helps to break up overwhelm. So you're gonna inhale in four parts and just, you can just do <laughs> on the exhale, this is what's exceptional. Nobody looks good doing this. You know, open your eyes really wide, stick out your tongue as far as you can and go, ah. Okay, I had somebody one time say, I can't do that. My mother told me never to stick out my tongue. I say to you, get over that right now. Now, get over it, okay? Because it's really important for your thyroid and parathyroid. And if you really stick it out far, it'll help your thymus, which will help your immune system. It's a white blood cell producer that sits right over your heart. Okay, so ready? Open your eyes really wide. Let's do it two more times. Okay, one more. And inhale. Get your kids to watch this with you. Okay, and then don't tell your partner. And the next time you're having it, interlock do that and see what happens <laughs> i know what happens but tell me what happens connect with me and let me know how it works it works really well okay so doing things with our relationship having really simple little exercises you can do with your children with your partner one really simple one is put your palms into each other's palms because your heart center ends in your palms right Oof, the meridian right into your palms and just close your eyes and just act like you're cleaning each other's windshield and just, just let your breath come in and out really easily. And then when you inhale, just inhale with both hands together, yours into theirs, and just feel like you can bless each other. That will calm your nervous system down. It'll create a connection. You can do that for three minutes. Everyone has three minutes. We waste three minutes looking at all sorts of crazy stuff. Just go and connect. Create that really heart-centered, connection. Another great thing you can do is grab each other by the wrist and then lift up from your heart. Try to get your heart towards the ceiling. Drop your head back and laugh as hard and crazy as you can. If you're with your kids, you can kneel down. Do the same thing kneeling, right? You can make a circle and do it in a circle. We'll do it together. It's really powerful. And just, you know, ah! <laughs> just get as crazy as you want and it'll turn into laughter. I promise you. So those are some things that you can just do to set up, you know, connections and release some of the stressors that are there. And, you know, thank God that we have, you know, you can do FaceTime, you can do WhatsApp, you can do Zoom, you can do all sorts of places that you can see the other people, you know, that we can't actually maybe touch right now yet. It's so wonderful that we have those things, you know. We didn't have them 10 years ago, they weren't you know, available to everyone. Five years ago, really not much. So use the things that are there for us, but make sure that you're like breathing with each other, that you get in sync. When your breath is in sync, then you start in training in a much more deep, fabulous, loving, joyous way with each other. It's the withness, right? So there's so many more great things that I want to share with you on this and you will get information on how to get more. I look forward to being with you in our next video where we're going to talk about 
the moving thing. Blessings. If you feel that these videos are helping you and you would like more, more support, more information, more knowingness, because I believe that a really good toolkit and the support to create the habits, that's what will uplift you. That's what will keep you on track. And know that if you go down below and you just like this video, you leave a comment, you share it with others so more people can you know, benefit from this, send me an email, you will get a discount on a course that I have. Anyone that you want, I will give you a discount code for so that it can serve you in your life to be more empowered, more connected, be your own energy guru.